Here are three things you may have missed in the markets this week. In a historic and unprecedented trial, former President Donald Trump was found guilty on 34 counts of falsifying business records. He faces a maximum sentence of 136 years. Sentencing will be on July 11th, but the conviction does not bar Trump from running for president. The question is, will this turn voters from voting for Trump in the coming election? One poll suggests a four-point overnight swing in favor of Biden following the conviction. Our Sociotomist, published May 22nd, states, Social mood regulates voters' perception of leaders. Look for a bump in Biden's polling numbers versus Trump in the coming weeks. Check out the new issue for more. Oil giant ConocoPhillips plans to acquire Marathon Oil in a $17 billion deal. This is just one of many consolidations happening in the energy sector. Last year, both ExxonMobil and Chevron set out to merge with Pioneer Natural Resources and Hescorp in multi-billion dollar deals. So, with big oil getting even bigger, what does this mean for oil prices and stocks? Stephen Craig, Elite Wave International's chief energy analyst, just published updated charts and commentary in our global market perspective, saying, Merger and acquisition activity within the oil and gas industry has been heating up, and the wave patterns suggest that big moves lie ahead for both oil and natural gas. China has launched its most ambitious plan yet to save its property market. It plans on asking local governments to purchase unsold properties and convert them into affordable housing. The plan also will feature reduced interest rates and down payments for home buyers. In this month's Asian Pacific Financial Forecast, Mark Kalashevsky shows a chart that illustrates how there may be hope for the Chinese housing market, but it has nothing to do with government intervention. It all comes down to Elliott Waves. To stay ahead of the news and learn more about the stories talked about in today's episode, check out the link below this video.